Hello and welcome to a Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl moveset concept. And look, if I'm gonna be for real, this is just gonna be a one-off thing because originally I wanted to do it for an April Fool's video, but I didn't have enough time to do it. And I put a poll whether or not you guys wanted me to actually work on this video or not. You guys said yes, so this was a bit of a rush job. But just know I'd put as much effort into making this moveset concept as I would do for all other characters in all my other moveset videos. This will be a one-off thing, and I don't really plan on doing another Nick All-Stars Brawl video. Because, let's be for real, they'll probably make another one in a couple of more years, and we'll all lose interest in it within a couple of months. With that being said, Back to the video. And today, we'll be talking about a character I think should have made in the roster, and, in fun fact, almost did one time. This character being Angelica Pickles. Angelica comes from the Nicktoon series, Rugrats. Originally one of the most popular shows on Nickelodeon, until a yellow sponge took over that limelight. Though the show did come back in a reboot exclusive to Paramount Plus, from what I've gathered, everything about it was just alright at best. But just like Warner Brothers, Paramount Plus also delisted it, meaning you cannot even watch this show anymore. Only watch clips of it on YouTube. Luckily, however, we'll be looking at the original show for more of the moveset ideas, though odds are they will use the design based off the more up-to-date version. Enough ranting, now let's learn more about Angelica. Angelica Pickles is the daughter of Drew and Betty Pickles, a very successful family that gives this little child whatever she wants turning her into a quote-unquote spoiled brat. She's also the cousin to the main character, Tommy Pickles, as well as sort of the main antagonist of the series, as she loves to really be the mean one in the group. Fun fact, the original writers of the show actually don't like Angelica at all. Not to mention, she was also planned to be playable in the first Nick All-Star Brawl game, but was cut to the fact that Nickelodeon probably didn't want their favorite iconic characters punching a three-year-old. Yet punching a bunch of children as well as a grandmother is A-OK. -okay. Though Angelica might be the youngest and smallest in the roster, let's say that tough mean girl attitude will make her quite the menace on the battlefield. If you're familiar with my moveset concept videos, you generally know I tend to break things down into four to five categories. It'll be kind of the same here, but I won't go super in-depth in them like I do with Smash Bros movesets, but I will go into the details that are very important for a platform fighter. For example, her costumes, where she'll get a total of four with the first being her default design, her iconic look from the Rugrats series, Costume 2 being the birthday outfit she wears in the pilot episode, Tommy's Birthday, Costume 3 being the detective outfit she wears in the Rugrats movie, and her last costume will be a princess outfit from one of the Halloween specials from the later seasons. The princess outfit I think makes more sense on account of how egotistical Angelica can be at times. Next, we talk about her taunts, and of course she will have three different taunts with her first having her bring out Cynthia and hug her, as the Cynthia doll she usually holds around is said to be considered her best friend. Her second taunt will actually have Angelica pick up a toy phone and then start talking out of it. This is actually from an iconic episode from the Rugrats where Angelica actually gets a voice altering phone device that makes it almost sound like her mom. And trust me when I say she really knows how to abuse that item. And her third taunt. She'll bring out Cynthia again in another toy and she'll make a terrifying face. This scene actually comes from the end of an episode of The Regrets, where Tommy and Chucky pretend what a grown-up would be like. And in the end, Angelica has the same reaction and says, Time to play house! It's an iconic image, and honestly, it's kind of funny. And lastly, her victory animations, where she'll only have two, as well as one defeat animation. Her first victory animation will have her eating cookies from the cookie jar and completely getting away with it. As if you didn't know anything about Angelica, cookies are her favorite food, and what better way to win a battle than then to get a whole jar of your favorite treat? For her second figure animation, she jumps for joy and then waves at the TV screen, as Angelica has always been a fan of the spotlight. And of course, since it's the Rugrats, her defeat animation will have her crying. Next up, we talk about her standard attacks. These will be categorized into two sections, her light attacks as well as her strong attacks. Nick All-Star Brawl actually has two different types of attack styles, so I'll be categorizing them, the first two into one section, which are just her light and strong attacks. So starting with her grounded neutral attack, she'll actually start punching people with a knuckle sandwich. Angelica's always been known to threaten the babies with violence, and trust me when I said, she has punched a kid before. For her grounded side attack, she'll actually kick the foe. This actually did happen in one of the first season airings of the show, as Angelica actually kicked the shins at a Reptar. Her grounded up attack will actually have her throw Cynthia up in the air, and then she'll catch her when she drops. This is actually more of a reference of how she usually plays with Cynthia the most, as Cynthia is her favorite toy. And her down grounded will actually have her legs stick out, as she's attempting to trip someone, as I'm not sure if there are any episodes where Angelica has actually tripped any of the characters in the show, but this is generally something I know from Angelica's personality she would do at some point. 
for her neutral aerial, she'll do a ballerina twirl as her spinning attack. In some of the episodes, Angelica has been shown to dance. For Angelica's forward aerial, she'll actually swing Cynthia like she's flying in a downward crescent. Her back aerial will have her swinging Cynthia behind her instead of in front of her. Her up aerial will be the same as her up grounded light attack, and her down aerial will be a downward kick. Next, we talk about her strong attacks. Her side grounded strong attack will have her knock over a lamp. This comes from the episode where Angelica knocks over a lamp on purpose and tries to frame one of the babies. Her strong up grounded attack will actually have her scream. If there's one thing Angelica is known for, it's definitely when she screams in a tantrum of rage. That would be definitely one of her highest KO moves, because trust me, no one wants to deal with a screaming child. Her down grounded strong attack will actually have her stomping on the ground. This is of course a reference to one of the most iconic episodes of the show about the box. Her side strong aerial will actually have her pushing her arms forward as if shoving. This actually comes from an episode where Angelica actually helps the babies from a far meaner bully. Her up strong aerial will be the same as her up strong ground attack. And for her strong down aerial, she'll swing one under her a giant stuffed animal. That when made contact will automatically be destroyed. And if any unlucky Nicktoon gets hit by it, there's a good chance they might get spiked. And I don't mean the dog. Next up is the special attacks. Of course, we'll be going through the standard neutral side up and down specials, but I will also be talking about their slime variants, as the game has a slime mechanic that allows you to use more powerful variants of your attacks. Though, of course, having all three slime meters will actually allow you to use your super attack. Basically, think Final Smashes from Smash Brothers. But without further ado, let's talk about her neutral special, where Angelica brings in her pet cat, Fluffy. She'll show her cat right in front of the opponent, and if anyone happens to hit Fluffy, she'll scratch them in a counterattack, somewhat similar to Peach's standard special with Toad. But if her slime move is activated, Fluffy will automatically start scratching at the character up to three times. For Angelica's side special, she takes a ride in the Cynthia sports car. This might be the only thing that'll be referenced from the Rugrats reboot, as that one is a little more compact for Angelica's size. Though in the earlier shows, Angelica actually does have a toy sports car where she actually uses it to run away from home. Of course, when she uses it, she gets to ride around and she can also move left and right, somewhat similar to Wario's side special. But the slime variant will actually have her lose control and fall out of the car halfway through, and anyone who gets hit by the car will have to deal with a massive explosion. Angelica's other special makes her become the Human Candy Ball. Of course, it's the joke on how babies can't really get the proper names of things right. This actually makes Angelica a human cannonball. This move will actually have Angelica on one side of a seesaw, while Phil and Lil will actually jump on the other side, sending Angelica flying upward, turning her into a giant projectile. Though she does use this, she will go into freefall. The slime variant will actually use the imagination mode of this, actually turning into an actual cannon and sending Angelica flying higher and hitting harder. And lastly, for Angelica's down special, she gets to finally get something that she needs, a sweet treat. If there's anything you know about Angelica, she loves sweets, and I wanted to make that work in her moveset. So her down special will actually have her eat a random sweet every time, whether it be donuts, candies, cake, ice cream, reptar bars, and many more. But there's one item that you definitely want to keep an eye out for, and that is a cookie. Since cookies are Angelica's favorite food, if Angelica happens to eat a cookie, she'll gain a stat boost of both attack and defense for a temporary amount of time. This down special has two different effects. Each suit will actually give a certain percentage back to Angelica, based on how high her damage is, but you cannot abuse this item for so long as you actually have a meter of how much sweets you have eaten. If you accidentally get the meter too high, Angelica will start turning green and get very queasy, leaving Angelica in a temporary stun state until the meter drains. This move kind of works similar to how Angelica works as a whole in the series. Someone who always wants to get what they want, but if they abuse it more than enough times, they get their quote unquote just desserts. If you activate the slime variant, you'll automatically get the cookie. And to wrap things up, we gotta talk about Angelica's super attack, where she wields a powerful item from the stars, the Atomizer. This comes from the Rugrat episodes where the babies are abducted by aliens. Angelica manages to escape and steals a remote that's capable of destroying planets. When you activate the move, Angelica will point the remote at the character, a little zap of lightning will hit them. It'll go into a cinematic where you see Angelica in a little spaceship firing it again, exploding an asteroid with possibly your opponents in it. And with that, you can now possibly see a way how Angelica Pickles will fight in Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. She'll be small, speedy, and very damage-inducing and obnoxious to deal with. But isn't that Angelica in a nutshell? 
thanks for watching, and thank you for being very patient for this late April Fools video. If you like what you saw, be sure to like and share this video around, and if you like this moveset concept, be sure to subscribe so you can also check out other moveset concepts I made for characters for both Super Smash Bros. and Multiverses. Yeah, I'm bringing that back. Even though this was a one-off, I hope to see you in the next moveset concept.